area of parallelograms. Parallelograms are any quadrilaterals with both pairs of opposite sides parallel and congruent, which means this side here, this side here, they're parallel and congruent, same size. Same with this side and this side. They're parallel, they're congruent, they're the same size. Same with a rectangle, opposite sides parallel and congruent, and this wonderful little diamond-ish shape, teeny parallel, these are parallel, and congruent, these are parallel, and congruent. Area, the number of square units needed to cover a surface enclosed by a geometric figure. Fancy way of saying area is everything on the inside of a geometric figure. Anything that's shaded in there, well, that's the area. There are many different ways to find the formulas for area of parallelograms. You have area equals base times height, area equals length times width, area equals base times bh, or base times height, and area equals length times width. So, let's start with our wonderful square here. There's a few ways to figure out the area of this. We'll get to the formula in a little bit. I just want to figure out where they got the formula. The first thing that we could do is, you know, count all these squares. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, So yes, the area of this wonderful square is 49, whatever, units squared. Kind of squoze it in there, but here. There we go. That's a long way of doing it. There's another way. Let's get rid of those dots. There we go. Look like I have chicken pox. All right. Another way of doing it is well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So from here to here, we have seven units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So from here to here we have seven units, so the base is seven and the height is seven, and area equals the base times the height, which would equal my 49 units. Squared, of course, because it's area. Alright, so let's see. Let's go on to a rectangle. Again, two ways of doing it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, I'm gonna stop there. We can keep counting eleven. We know this is an eleven. 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 So we have eleven plus eleven plus eleven plus eleven plus eleven plus eleven. Or eleven times one, two, three, four, five, six. But let's keep going. So we know from here to here we have 11 units and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and we know from here to here we have 6 here equals BH here equals the base times the height, which equals 66, so the area is 66 units squared. Alright, one more. This diamond looking thing. Now, a lot of people like to say that the height is from here to here. That is not the height. The rule for the height is that the height needs to be perpendicular to the base. And since this is the base right here. Now this one's not so easy to count in the squares. So we're going to manipulate the system a little bit. This is what we're going to do. Just because I want to. We're going to first put a line right here. 
we're going to make that wonderful triangle there. And then with that triangle, I'm going to do a few magical things. All right. And with that triangle, what we're going to do, we're going to pick up this triangle, and we're going to move it over here. And we're going to move it over here. Uh, I think you know what I'm going to do now. And then with the magic of editing, I'm going to add a line right here. Hey, hey, how about that? We made a square out of that diamond. Well, not a square, a rectangle out of that diamond little thing. Now we can easily find the height. One, two, three, four, five. So we know from here to here, the height is five. And then we have the base from here to here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. All right, so there's the ten. Area equals base times height. Area equals the base is ten times the height is five. So the area is fifty units squared. And we got all that information. That rectangle there. It's the same thing as what we started with right here. Okay. Alright, that's it. Very first one. Done.